Hey guys, Mike Chen, and this week's Costco food review, Costco just got soup dumplings. Let's give that a try. Also got this, Nongshim Premium Tonkatsu Ramen. I'm actually really excited about this. And you can either steam it or pan fry it, but come on, it's a soup dumpling. You gotta steam it. Also, if you are gonna be steaming dumplings regularly, highly recommend picking up a bamboo steamer. And the biggest reason is because when you're steaming your soup dumplings in a bamboo steamer, the condensation doesn't fall onto your dumplings. This is a hefty bag of dumplings. Three pounds and it cooks in 12 minutes. Wow, these are adorable. So, got my bamboo steamer. Got some wax paper, and you can either use wax paper or you can use cabbage leaves. Make sure every single dumpling has room to expand and grow. Then make sure the water is boiling and put the dumplings on. And while that's cooking, let's go make our sauce. Really simple, sliced up some ginger because that's gonna help balance out the richness of the pork. All you need is some Chinese vinegar. If you don't have that, you can use balsamic as well. And this is just a personal preference. I like my dumpling dipping sauce spicy, so I'm gonna add some of my homemade hot oil. I'm gonna leave the recipe link for you guys as well if you wanna make some for yourselves. That's it. I always wanna put a spoon underneath your soup dumplings just in case the soup leaks out. Nibble the top, drink the soup, dunk it into the dipping sauce. This is a pretty darn tasty soup dumpling. I like how thin the skin is. Really nice size filling inside. It's porky, it's juicy, it's rich. Mmm, the skin is very chewy as well. Mmm, good amount of soup inside. That is a really, really meaty dumpling. I am very surprised by how springy the dumpling skin is. For frozen soup dumplings, I give this a solid nine out of 10. I mean, if you live too far from your local soup dumpling restaurant, go to Costco and grab this. two more baskets of soup dumplings. While that's cooking, I just cooked up a Nongshim Premium Tonkatsu Ramen. And this thing, I think the only thing premium are the noodles themselves. Really springy and chewy al dente. The noodles are really good. The broth itself, not very rich. And I've had instant noodles where the broth tasted like it was actually from a restaurant. This definitely tastes like it came from powder. It's better than your average cup noodle. Definitely wouldn't say premium. And that's it for this week's Costco food review. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later. Three days later. Another soup dumpling popped up, and this time beef pho flavor soup dumpling. And Japanese gyoza. Let's try these soup dumplings out. And these are really easy to cook. Inside, there's six trays. Each tray has six dumplings. And you just pop one of these trays into the microwave for two minutes and it's ready to eat. These are already fully cooked dumplings, so really just gotta heat them up. Also, they give you individual sauce packs for every single tray. At least from the picture, these should be very soupy, very meaty dumplings. Let's see if they are. took these dumplings out in the microwave. Honestly, just by the first impression, you would think it lied on this resume. They're looking kind of gray and, and very flat. All right, give it a little nibble. All right. So the skin is very, very, very thin. That's always a good sign. Inside, pretty good size filling. And it's definitely swimming in a lot of juice. Oh, wow. This little dip in the sauce. Awesome. Never judge a dumpling by its wrapper. This is all sorts of transformative. Mm. I've had dumplings from this brand before. They actually make some amazing dumplings and they just freaking nail this one. Like I said, the wrapper very very thin, got a nice chew to it, not soggy at all. It's gonna pop this whole thing in my mouth. Mm. You should try that. Where the dumplings are not so hot, dunk it in some of the sauce and pop the whole thing in your mouth. You're just gonna experience the most wonderful, 
beefy explosion. This dumpling tastes like three different things at the same time. It tastes like a Chinese soup dumpling. It's really soupy, very beefy. A little bit of vegetable in there as well to kind of balance out the richness. It's also got cellophane noodle in there, which makes this also taste like a Korean dumpling. And it absolutely tastes like Vietnamese pho. The soup is beefy, you can taste the herbs, and most importantly, like Vietnamese pho, it warmed my stomach up in seconds. This is one of the most unique soup dumplings I've ever had, and it is just masterful. Best thing is, you're starving. Nobody likes to wait for food. Two minutes, all it takes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a solid nine and a half out of 10. Get yourself some of these soup dumplings. Next Costco product to try out, Japanese style gyoza. So it's saying we gotta pan fry these things. When it comes to Japanese gyoza, pan frying is the only way. All right, that didn't work exactly how I expected. The dumpling's cooking about seven minutes. It's got a beautiful golden bottom. You can tell the wrapper is very thin and delicate. Mm. This looks, smells, and tastes like a gyoza you'll get from a restaurant. And from someone who's had many a dumplings in his life, this is as close to a perfect 10 out of 10 gyoza as you'll ever find. This is everything you want in a delicious gyoza. Skin, perfect, thin, chewy, light. The filling, pork and chicken, juicy flavors, perfect little bit of vegetables, And when you sear it, the bottom becomes toasty with a nice subtle crunch. I mean, authentic Japanese style dumplings is right. This is absolutely authentic. So easy to make, amazingly delicious. And if you've ever been to a Japanese restaurant, gyoza, they're not cheap. But this, well, you got 60 dumplings in here, so less than a quarter of a dumpling. Ridiculous deal for something that tastes as good. I think I like this more than the soup dumpling I just had. Try this for yourself, guarantee you, this is some restaurant quality gyoza. You know what? This is better than some restaurant gyozas I've had. And that wraps up another Costco food review. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.